Alright guys, so as you know, the official version of Android right now is Android KitKat. But today, Friday, October 17th, Google has released preview images to the next version of Android known as Lollipop. This version was announced with the Nexus 6 and the Nexus 9 a couple of days ago on uh, October 15th. And uh, today we decided to take a quick look at it. This is a very informal and unedited video where I will be showing you the main highlights of what I found. So let's start with the intro. So the boot up and setup of your device has been changed to be very material. And as you guys can see here, there's a new keyboard. Everything looks a lot cleaner. And honestly, I think this was a part of the OS that could really use a facelift. And since I don't show you the whole thing, you can't tell, but everything is a lot faster now and just seems more natural. You can sign into your email as always, or you can create an account. And once you're done with that, there's a brand new feature that I find to be very cool. All right, so this feature is right here. It basically allows you to restore from a backup that you select, so whatever device you want. And then you can also select and deselect what apps from this device you want to install. So as you see, I'm going through them all right now, and I'm only gonna leave the Google apps. So basically, the only apps that restore onto this preview is the Google apps from the Play Store that aren't already installed. The reason I did this is so that I could check if any of these apps would show up as material design apps in the preview. However, this did not happen so I'm not going to show you guys these apps. But as you can see now I get prompted after that to check if I want to join Google now and once you click yes you're pretty much done. Okay Google, B FC Barcelona score. So from what I was able to tell from that Google search, there's a little bit of a difference in the Google Now app for Android Lollipop than in the current one. And as you guys can see here, apps such as the dialer have been completely materially designed and the calculator as well. These are two of the apps that you can clearly see that have been completely finished with material design. And other than that, there aren't that many other apps in the preview. However, moving right along, another thing I found in the preview was the change uh, quick settings that Google are now using. So as you can see here, you can click some of the quick toggles, mainly the data one was the only one that I saw, and it would prompt a sub menu. And then you could also hold on the notification to see what app was causing this notification as you guys saw me do. And then I went into the Google Play Store, the new one that you know is material design, and everything else that we can find in KitKat is basically there, but now you get the addition of a color th status bar. Then after that, I decided to dwell into the settings to see what I can find. So I went into about and I clicked on the Android lollipop thing, you know, for the little Easter egg. And I discovered that you can use Flappy Bird. And then after that, I decided to play Flappy Bird for a really long time, as you can tell here, with a very little success. It's actually very hard. Uh, I don't think I got anything higher than a one. So there's that. And uh, after that, I just decided to give up on that. So there was that and then I enabled the developer settings and went around looking. In the developer settings I didn't really find anything unusual. There wasn't anything specifically new. You can still handle your animation scales and uh, other than that the developer settings basically looks the same just with the redesign of material. One of the only apps from the Play Store that I was able to see the material design in which we already know is a Chrome app. And while I was in the Chrome app, I also decided to test out if I would really be able to see the tabs in the multitask bar. Turns out that in the recents, you cannot see the tabs that Google Chrome has opened. This was announced during the first unveiling of L, and uh, I thought it was going to be a pretty bad idea. And I'm not sure if it's because the Google Chrome app has not been updated or if they're just not going to implement it into the brand new Android Lollipop. But as of right now, I can tell you that the tabs do not show up in the multitasking settings. Another thing that I did find was app notifications. You can now set apps as priority apps or you could block them from showing notifications. And once you set an app as a priority app, once you turn on uh, do not disturb, the only apps that can send you notifications are the priority apps. And you could also now set up what apps are allowed to interrupt you for calls, events, reminders, and messages and if you just want calls and messages from your contacts only to interrupt you. 
This is a very handy feature which I am looking forward to actually getting to use. So I un ended up going into the Hangouts app to see if I could find anything new. Besides the keyboard which is really sweet looking and very very nice to use. Nothing has changed, there's no new swipe gestures, there's nothing really unique about this Hangouts app that isn't already available on KitKat. Hopefully they do something with it because I think the current implementation is not the greatest. Then I decided to go into the battery settings and as you can see it will tell you now how much, how much battery you have left. So at this point I have 3 hours left with only 20 minutes of screen on time. A bit wearing but it's only a developer preview. And they have this new feature called battery saver. One thing that was very odd about the battery saver though was that once you turned it on you got these strange orange navigation bars that I'm about to show. So the nav bar and the status bar turned orange and this wouldn't go away unless you turned it off. Another thing is you can have it turn on automatically at any point. Then I went into the security settings and they have this new feature called screen pinning that I was able to find thanks to the guys over at Android Police. So basically what this is is if you're going to let someone borrow your phone, you can lock them into one app, as I'm going to do here. I lock them into the dialer, so now I can let someone borrow my phone and make a phone call without them having the ability to go to other apps. Now, I don't have a passcode set up, but if I did, to unpin the app, I would have to use my passcode. This is a very cool feature, and I can't wait to see how it works in the final implementation when I get to test it more. Other than that, there was really nothing else that was new. Guys, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and until next time, kapow!